What was the difference between tonight and last night? Um, I guess I prayed a little bit more today. Um, you know, I, I watched the uh, film from last game study where I'm supposed to be on the uh, floor. And, uh, you know, I just got to capitalize on the opportunity when the ball comes my way. But after the game, Steph, you know, uh, went out of his way to get your attention. Um, just what was his message to you in that moment and when he was uh, talking to you? Well, I, I had reached out to him during uh, halftime. I had uh, told him that his uh, camp had uh, took their invitation back from me because I had reclassed up and went to uh, college early. You know, that was a cooler moment we shared together. But, uh, you know, his message was to, you know, keep going. I'm young in this league, and there's a lot out there for me. Like, what is that uh, on your pants? <laughs> kind of uh, every different iteration of Spider-Man. <laughs> My favorite superhero, a little childish thing, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, I, why do you love Spider-Man? Like, where does that come from? Um, Stan Lee, he uh, he was like the one of the great things about Spider-Man is anyone can wear the mask. So that's what uh, Vince, we saw you obviously guarding Steph tonight. As expected, he picked up a frustration foul pretty early in the game, looks like just – for you, how much do you relish that matchup guarding their team's best player, getting under their skin, getting in the pickup, irritation, frustration, foul, stuff like that? Uh, it was great um, just seeing stars every night, um, being able to guard them and um, them giving me some advice on the offensive end, just uh, being out there, causing havoc the best I can, um, trying to get them out their flow, even though you really can't, you just got to be do your best and hopefully they miss the shot. Uh, I feel like we did a good job him on him and um, Clay Thompson. Hey Vince, uh, it's been a couple of months. You know, a couple of months. You know, you still up and down. You know, playing sparingly, but last couple of months you've just made a consistent impact both offensively and defensively. Where do you see yourself, your game going from the last two months to now? Um, just me being more confident. Um, coach believing me a little bit more. Um, some of the guys are out, so obviously I had to step up and really just taking uh, taking advantage of my opportunity at the end of the day. Um, even Gigi is doing it very well right now. So just uh, staying ahead of the game and not really looking forward, looking back. <clears throat> Gigi, I believe you're like the third youngest player to have back-to-back 20-point -back games like this before. The other two are LeBron James and Kevin Durant. Um, when you hear that, what does that mean? Stay humble. Don't. Don't get too caught up in those uh, in that sentence. It's obviously a, a great sentence to be a part of, but you know those guys already made it. And uh, for me, I feel like their game was way more advanced at this age than mine. You know, I'm you know just lucky enough to have this opportunity to get out there and play. Gigi, talking about the guy next to you here, he's a little bit quiet in the locker room, but then when he gets <laughs> out there, he's he's a dog guarding right. some of these guys. What do you see sort of switching him when he steps on the floor and he's defending some of these other guys? Um, my first time being around Vince, I told, uh, you know, as much people in the locker room, I was like, he's a real, he's a real dude. Like, he quiet, stay to himself, but he's about his business. And one of the, the very uh, first things he told me, he was like, you know, just stay down. It's a business to everything, but, you know, your opportunity will come, but you just got to take it. Gigi, I imagine for a lot of, in the back, Imagine for a lot of players in your situation, maybe you come in and maybe a little bit tentative at first, just not want to step on toes, not want to be too aggressive with the ball. But it seems like obviously you've been empowered to show off your game and everything you could do offensively. Where does that come from? Um, just like Vince said, with multiple guys being out, uh, I've had to uh, step up as well. And uh, you know, when you step up and play the amount of minutes that me and him both played, the ball is naturally going to find you on the court. Uh, but, you know, you just got to remember those reps. Your body has to, you know, create a carbon copy every time you shoot the ball, every time you dribble, you know, just trying to lean on the things that you've learned. Gigi in the back, have you been able to soak it all in? I mean, you go from almost going to Curry's camp, then college, uh, summer league, then G League. Now you're putting up back-to-back 20-point -back games and putting up 23 points against the Warriors. Have you been able to soak it all in? Um, right before I get to go to sleep at night, you know, I try to – relapse everything, but I feel like I've, I've had to grow up a lot uh, different from a lot of different, you know, 18 to 19 year olds, but you, it's a blessing from God. And I asked him for this since I was younger. Just for both of y'all, um, just wondering like, what does this feel like for you right now? You just mentioned like just taking all this in, but 
you know, Vince, you know, for you, like, we talked about you went from, you know, the two-way deal to, like, being one of the more impactful players on the team now. And Gigi, I mean, it's kind of came out of nowhere for you, like, for both of y'all. How are y'all embracing this opportunity? Just what does it mean? Uh, it means it means a lot. Um, just being able to, to go out there and make mistakes, and knowing that we're gonna learn from the mistakes while in the game, not really having to look over our shoulders um, at the moment. Uh, even though the guy's gonna come back, and we'll just see how that's gonna work out then. But honestly, I feel like uh, even with the last game, we was moving the ball a lot. Everybody got a lot of touches, and um, when people can't, people really can't guard us if we moving the ball, getting downhill and tackling the rim. So I feel like both games, we did it well, well on that job. And then, honestly, the second half really helped us. This, this game, last game, we took we took steps back in the second half, which hurt us. Um, it, <clears throat> it was, uh, he, he hit it pretty uh, spot on. You know, we just got to keep stacking up days like this. Uh, like he said, last uh, few games was taking some steps backwards. But, uh, you know, if we all dial in, uh, listen to Coach West, uh, listen to what he has to say, more opportunities to open up for me and him. All right, Gigi, obviously you just got here. But, Vince, you were here the last couple of weeks when the team was rolling, when Ja came back. Now, obviously, he goes down, Dez goes down, and a lot of people don't really expect much from the team. Does any of that fuel you? Put a chip on your shoulder, any of that? Uh, not really. I mean, this is our job, so we got to come in and do what we're supposed to do at the end of the day. Um, sometimes we're not going to come up on the upper hand, but as long as we go out there and fight hard and compete at a high level, I feel like we'll be just fine with the, in the, within the locker room. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all.